All right, so we all know the classic song where Ray J goes like this. Now, if you're familiar with that song, just drop something down in the comments like, I grew up with this song. I know this song very, very well. This was like early 2000s. I would want to say like 2003, 2005 when this song came out. And it was just like a big hit. So I turned that song into this right here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I did that. The first thing I did right here is I pulled up Serato Sampler. Now, of course, if you just play the beat straight from the beginning, it's gonna sound regular. Like if you play it from here. Now, before I continue doing anything else, I of course sped it up. The regular one is like at, I think 110 BPM. I went all the way to 155 or close to 157 BPM. If I look at this, yeah, it was close to 157 BPM. And you know, sometimes that just falls into your creativity. If you want to slow it down, if you want to speed it up, that's totally up to you. I just feel like, you know, in today's modern trap music, everything's more sped up. You know, some hits are more slowed down, but this one's for sure sped up. And my goal for this beat was actually to speed it up and to make like a wavy type of orange you banger, you know, so with some trap drums, of course. And uh, the regular song is right here. It's in here in C minor. But I went ahead and just left it in A minor. I just thought it sounded better. And that's your, just your preference. It doesn't have to be like, oh, there's one one or right way to do it. So what you want to do is you want to put up Serato Sampler and you want to go ahead and label like where you want to chop some stuff up. So it, let's just say if you press a key, I use my pads, these little pads. I just feel like it's easier to use these pads on the piano so I went ahead once once I know where I want this to go I just put it here and I click on the pad like that and it's gonna start automatically from there wherever I want to chop it up next I go to the wherever the next spot I want to chop it up and I just press the next one or was it this one that is that one right there but right here I actually reversed it so there's a lot of things you can do but the first thing is you want to see where you want to put your samples, like where you want to chop things up. And like, again, that falls into your creativity. If you feel so, like something sounds good in this part or in this part, sorry for like the little rewind noise. It's just, it's, it, that's what it does. And just go ahead and do that. You know, I went ahead and sampled it in a way that I thought it fit best. Um, after I did that, I went ahead and layered some piano. So I know we're in the key of A minor, right? So I went ahead and pulled up the grand door. And after the grand door, I played these keys right here. There's some cool R&B notes. Kind of wavy. All sevens in the scale of a, of a minor. That's all I was doing. And together the sample with this sounded like. All right, so it's just, you know, I just kept going back and forth. Like, All right, so that's the sample I left it on. I reversed that again. And that's just the way you want to do that. Trust me, Serato Sampler is like the best. You could do that with maybe some of um, the stock plugin right here with um, Alchemy, which is, I mean, not Alchemy, with Logic. It's called Sampler. It's just going to take a longer time. I love Serato is just a lot easier uh, for the piano sound. I just uh, I just added a Pro Q3 and left it right here in the mid range. Nothing too crazy. The synth keys that I added at the top again, these right here are is like nothing special. They're from pigments. And they're ambient by true ambient by timbral. So I went ahead and added the vocals right here and the vocals sounded like this. Now, really important, like these vocals, obviously they're from Arcade. And if you guys watch my videos, you guys know I love using Arcade. It's like my main go-to. So this is where another part where creativity falls in your hands. I can't choose what you're gonna pick. 
but it took me like maybe 20 minutes to find a good vocal sample for this one. It just has to fit right in. And I use this one called Uncertain. And I left it the way it was. I didn't add anything special besides a Pro-Q3, left it in the mid range. Then I added a uh, UAD real verb and I used the big bright hall. And I, added, I ended it with using uh, Murder Melodies from Slate Digital. Here it is. And I just went ahead and raised up the spread. That's all I did. Cause it just makes it more wide, more wide of a sound. Then I went ahead and added this second vocal chop right here. And again, same thing, same concept. I just use a UAD real verb echo just to get some delay going on. You want to kind of want to use some delay if you want to make this sound right here. See how it goes. Uh, 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 and let's leave it on the one fourth notes. If you wanted to continue sounding like that, if you if I leave it like on one, two triplets, it's just gonna sound a little bit muddier like this. Actually, it doesn't sound that bad. If I leave it maybe like in one eighth dot, it's gonna sound a little muddy. Yeah, see, it's just repeating too much and it's clashing with the reverse. So just one fourth just felt right. I reduced the wetness to like 47 because I just didn't want it to be too echoey. Uh, then I went ahead and added a regular clap. Um, I don't have a drum kit, but I am going to put one out soon. Uh, some people want it. Um, some people don't want it. But if you do want it, I'm glad if you buy it. Um, Pro-Q3 added like the low, just raised, raised down a lot of the high frequencies on this one. The clap, just nothing special, just a regular clap. And I use Alchemy all the time to bring out samples. I'm still a little bit like, I don't want to say old school. I could use a sampler, but I just have everything programmed into Alchemy already before Logic had his update. So yeah. So something you want to do on the hi-hats, right? They sound like this. You see how it's just bouncing back and forth. What you want to do here is you want to lower down the velocity to every other note. So right here, I added with the, with the brush tool, I'm going to have to use the brush tool. I went and had it some 116 notes right here. Boom and then just left that velocity the same. The velocity has to change right here in the bottom in order to, because if you, let's just say, let's just say for instance, I raise it up all the, all these up all the way, right? It's gonna sound like this, you'll see. That sounds, that sounds terrible. So let's just put them back down. Then you're gonna see, you're gonna hear the difference right now. See, it just creates way more of like a dynamic type of feel because it's just going back and forth. Do, 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 do. And you can raise the velocity a little bit right here. Hey, and you don't want your hi-hats to always be like every every single hi-hat hitting at the same um, velocity, unless that's your intention. The kick with the hi-hat and the clap sounds like this. Hey. And you know, if you can get like a good rhythm going with the drums, then the beat's probably gonna be fire. You know, with this um, pattern that I use, I literally just play from like, I just like to play how I feel. So let's just say for instance, if this wasn't here, um, you just boom, 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 boom. You could do that before you start putting your kicks in maybe, or just play your kicks as you go, like boom. But boom, boom. If you feel like, you know, you want to practice a little bit, just do that with your mouth or hit the table. Do something, something about drums. You can always be playing around with your hands and feet. Um, it's going to help out a lot, actually, when you start actually making some beats and stuff like that. So I then I added some perks, nothing special. I used the sub for the bass. I used the wolf preset. And then I went ahead and added some murder melodies. And I raised up the flame all the way up for heat. And then I use some saucy distortion. This is what the bass sounds like. Hey, sounds very like girthy. Mm. All right, and then I went ahead and just used, you know, a really cool effects swoosh crash. Like, hey, something simple. Something you should always add to your beats is like some swooshes, some risers, whatever you want to call them, and some crashes. It's gonna create more dynamic for your beats. I added a little hi hat here for the 808, which is not really an 808, but for the kick. And every time it hits a second note, it just smacks. Hey, you see that? All that creates some dynamic. Now, of course, the most important part is the melody. So at the end of the day, everything together 
creates from here, from this beat right here, or well, not from this beat, this melody, came this right here. Right, guys i'm gonna cut it right there let me know if you're gonna watch more of these videos i made a video on tiktok and it's like i don't know if it's not going viral yet but maybe it could be going viral i just posted it if you want to go see what i did with that as well but anyways so next time don't forget to like subscribe comment down below to help this channel grow we're at 12,000 subscribers thank you guys so much for that so next time stay blessed and stay positive peace